five seconds friends i am very happy to take part in today's function i hope and trust that all of you will be happy to acquire the desired medical degrees marking a milestone in your careers i would like to congratulate all those who graduated today remember to upload the oath as you step out of this institution from now on you will be serving the society and the country as a doctor who is treated with respect by the patients and their families it is therefore necessary to ensure that their trust is never broken and maintain the highest credibility you have taken up a noble profession where you do not distinguish between a poor and rich patient while providing treatment a good human being will become a good doctor too as india transits from a developing nation to a developed nation with the country achieving remarkable progress in various fields the health status of indians has also improved over the years the life expectancy which has increased to a great extent we have also successfully eradicated polio there has been steady decline in infant mortality rate today india has emerged as the sixth largest economy and its growth rate is expected to be 10% this year the asian development bank has projected india to be the fastest growing economy in asia the world bank has also predicted a very good growth rate for india this year and said that the country's economy has recovered from the effects of demonetization however despite the economic progress india has not done as well as it could have on various health indicators and there is a scope for vast improvement in india the rural areas are underserved in terms of medical facilities and personnel there is a shortage of doctors and nurses all over the country although successive governments at the center and in various states have been trying to address this issue we are still short of meeting the world health organization our rural areas where majority of the people live are badly underserved in terms of medical professionals and facilities most of the urban areas are served by state of the art private hospitals apart from government hospitals however the situation is not the same in the rural areas and this urban rural divide has to be bridged so that the people living in villages are not deprived of medical care my dear students we have to adopt a special strategy to improve the well being of our people in the first place budgetary allocations for health care have to be stepped up by both the central government and various state governments with focus on addressing infrastructure and manpower shortages in fact there has to be a bias for rural areas in policy making if we have to remedy the situation secondly we need to set up more and more medical and nursing colleges to ensure the availability of well qualified medical professionals while facilitating the private sector to set up hospitals and colleges the governments must ensure that the treatment as well as education provided by them is affordable as regards uh, accessing medical care it is estimated that most of the health care costs in india are met through out of pocket expenses as a result of high medical expenses there have been instances where families from lower middle classes and middle classes were driven to poverty lack of health insurance coverage is the main reason for this situation i would like to compliment the central government for launching special medical insurance policy and various state governments for starting similar schemes i am sure all these schemes will promote the well-being of people and prevent poorer sections from slipping into poverty finally as regards medical education we have to ensure that the faculty constantly upgrades its knowledge and teaching skills special refresher courses for faculty need to be conducted from time to time so that the education is in tune with the evolving requirements of the modern society as you are aware we need to become world leaders in education and reduce brain drain in the modern times certain irregularities have crept into our social life and we are witnessing incidents like dowry killings no civilized society can tolerate such inhuman acts and punishments have to be meted out to criminals who commit those crimes gender equality must begin at home and girls must not be made to feel inferior to boys 
families play a big role in shaping the attitude of children and boys must be made to treat girls with respect. 